so the impact on results. When we ran assessments at Easter last year, 38% of that year eight low ability class had already reached their end of year target. A staggering 48% of them, very nearly half, had actually exceeded their end of year target at Easter. For me, that's incredible. As a result, a nice payoff, I had a lovely parents' evening. Our pupils come to parents' evening with their parents, and usually it's like getting blood out of a stone and trying to get them to tell their parents something they've been doing and what they've enjoyed in maths. However, this year, year eight were glowing. They couldn't wait to share their progress. They couldn't wait to tell their parents about things they've been doing, how much they enjoy coming to maths and how much progress they've made. I don't mind admitting that I was filling up that evening and the parents were absolutely blown away. Another key aspect has been behaviour. Looking at the behaviour log for that year eight class, they've had a total of 71 incidents recorded in other lessons in other subjects. In maths, on the other hand, I recorded no behavioural incidents in any of their lessons last year. And can I just, interrupt, I just interrupt there? Emma does give behaviour uh, sanctions. She does do that. And in her other lessons, I'm not saying there's lots of them. I'm known but for being quite strict, them. I think, really. So, yes. <laughs> that's important, people. It is. <laughs> so it's obviously working with that year eight low ability group. But does it really work with our high ability pupils too? In that same Easter assessment, that year seven high ability group, 50% of them exceeded their end of year target. So very similar results. That for me was significantly better than the 29% of the parallel class who hadn't been using LBQ. So that's a, a brief summary of where, where we've got to. And I suppose the next question, the obvious question is where are we gonna go next? That's it, that's where I've got to point it. Just at the head, if anyone wants to know who's coming after me, near the, near the aeroplanes is where you've got to point it. So where are we going to go next? Um, well, clearly, we've had tremendous success. We're really proud of what's happened uh, within our, our specific teachers who have been using and piloting learning by questions. But for us, we want to widen it. Um, we, do have a, we don't quite have ambitions to go global, but we want to go global within our school. Um, so currently, all of maths, and it's a big maths department, 11 teachers in, in maths are using it. It's being rolled out to science and is also being rolled out um, to, to English as well. Um, more than that, though, what we've also gained from it is a tremendous expert who stood next to me here, who has moved from somebody who's been experimenting uh, with using learning by questions uh, into a coaching and a supportive role to help those other areas within school develop and hopefully outside of our, our school as well.